couple videos ago, I spent time cutting out the new cockpit sole and fitting that in. This week I'm actually going to glass that part in, glass the underside in, and actually vacuum bag the deck on. We get that accomplished this week and we're also going to take you on a little sailing adventure. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. So this is the underside of the cockpit sole that we're extending. These are, and these are the gussets that are being glassed onto the old transom. So I'm going to glue these gussets on and once, the, once they're glued down, then I will cove these inside radiuses so that I don't have to do it when the part is in the boat and I, I would have to do it upside down. So it'll be nice, the radius will be nice and done. And then we'll take and put thickened epoxy, the glue all the way around the part and stick it into the boat. Once that's done, once it's stuck into the boat, I can, I'll have to do a bunch of cleanup with the glue and then we can put glass on. And I'm just doing the underside today so that tomorrow I can do the top side, the deck side, and hopefully um, vacuum bag it. When I get to do these smaller laminations, I can start using all these scrap pieces that I've cut off, of fiberglass that I've cut off when I do the big laminations. And so I have this big pile of scrap fiberglass that I'm starting to use here. So this is a cool product from Total Boat. It's these electric scissors and it makes cutting fiberglass a lot uh, easier on the hands and faster. I just want to make sure that I can see these holes because those are what are going to guide this gusset into exactly the right place. I'm just gonna sweep the surfaces that I'm going to be taping with the fiberglass. I could either sweep it or roll it with like clear resin. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sweep it because I have this extra thickened resin already. And I think it will help use less resin and it won't be as drippy when it comes time to lay the tapes down and everything. So we'll see how it works, but I'm pretty sure it'll work fine. Now I'm gonna go do the same thing on the boat.
I just mixed up this batch of epoxy. It's half like collodial silica, which gives it strength and also uh, keeps it from sagging too much. It's also half like glass bubbles. That's the purple. And that gives it volume and makes it a little bit easier to, it also, it also keeps from sagging. This is what I'm gonna be using to glue the piece in. So I'm gonna go all the way around the edge of the deck part with this stuff. So like this stuff is kind of almost like peanut butter. Or a berry gelato. Okay. Voila, done. It's all buttered up. Getting ready to laminate on the underside of that deck part. I'm uh, getting fiberglass on the underside of the deck, the cockpit deck that we're adding. And they're pretty tight spaces, very like acute angles that I'm working at. Is that your anti shrew killing bib? Yesterday, uh, I laminated the underside, taped the underside of the new cockpit sole. And this morning, I've been prepping for laminating the top. What I'm going to do is just do one big layer of 1708 over the top of the new cockpit sole, connecting it to the old cockpit sole. So uh, I've got it swept with epoxy, with thickened epoxy to make sure there are no holes or anything. And now I'm ready to laminate uh, and vacuum bag the part.
been thinking a lot about it in the past, in the past month or so. That's batch number two of a pack B. This thing is awesome. the next morning and we're going to tear off the bag to see how it looks. solid. The cockpit is just now starting to take shape. This is the first step in this big process of expanding the cockpit out. The next steps will be to build the bulkheads that go in underneath the deck that will be built over here and building the swim step. I'm probably going to cut out all the parts, get them fit before I start laminating anything together. So uh, yeah, it's very exciting to have this bigger cockpit. A part-time job that I have here in Port Townsend is caretaker and captain for this 40-foot yawl called Levian Rose. It is a Paul Gartside design, Jesperson built, cold molded, so it's wooden, 40-foot yawl, owned by the Northwest Maritime Center. It's a gorgeous boat and we got to go race it last weekend. We didn't win any prizes, but it was a beautiful weekend to get out on the water. Are we going to go check in with the committee boat and then we will start throwing in a few taps? Um. 
10 seconds. Can you trim in any more there? Yeah. Everybody trim in. Five, four, three, two. Thank you so much to Bob in Florida who refit this Irwin 34. Currently he's working on this Beneteau First Class 10 and uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks Bob. And uh, thank you to Kim from the, ne from the Netherlands. He's been building boats for himself his entire life and is currently finishing this 57 foot aluminum cruising boat designed by Bruce Roberts and he has spent 10 years and 15,000 hours working on this boat. And the pictures kind of speak for themselves. This guy is next level boat builder. If I can get this boat out the door looking half as good as what he's done, I will be ecstatic. So thank you very much, Kim. 
And lastly, thank you to John, who is in, also in Florida. He has been building boats for a long time as well. Uh, Cedar Strip canoes and Cedar Strip uh, outrigger canoes. He just recently refit a 22-foot Catalina that he keeps in his backyard uh, and is planning on doing a Everglades challenge in the near future on his outrigger canoe. So thank you very much, John. And the Everglades challenge that includes carrying your boat like a mile across the boa constrictor infested Everglades, right? Uh, yeah, it's a crazy race that's a akin to the race to Alaska, but uh, yeah, through um, the Everglades, which has crocodiles and snakes and yeah good luck john <laughs> good luck <laughs> <laughs> um if you are interested in joining our patreon community you can go to patreon.com and look up the duracell project so thank you again to everybody who helps support the project